So Adam exactly. Eternal has a question, which is, whenever I try to write a short story, I always drift off and forget about it. My passion is world building. How could I go about writing a short story? <laughs> um, your short stories could be your world building articles. Write a background, write, write a, uh, take a character that you're building, your world building and do their origin story. There's your short story. I did the same thing for one of my uh, main characters, Dax. Um, um, and his name, Daxano, it means the unsolvable problem. So I wrote a little short story called The Unsolvable Problem. And it's his, his origin story. And kids love it. So nice. take one of your world building things and it will become world building. I think that we can, I know you, you had talked before, Janet, with, um, about the world building disease. And I'm kind of, uh, I, I see that I get that sometimes. It's, it's. I like how you described it the later part of your last show when you said, if you go down that rabbit hole and you forget what your real intent is, what you're supposed to be doing and you're focusing on the rabbit hole rather than totally get that, totally agree. I think that our world building, there's never too much ever. I think what my opinion, just my opinion, I think it's how we use it. I mean, I was able to pay for world anvil and to start this whole process by offering immortality to my readers so that's how i did it um mm -hmm. so i was using world building as an advantage to get my readers who liked my books that wanted to be an actual character in my world and they paid me and hey win 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 yeah so yeah, absolutely. I would add to that that, um, and funnily enough, I was saying this today, I did a, a talk about how to world build for beginner game masters um, for tabletop gaming. But actually, the concept is the same because the way world building works is the same, which is plot is also world building because plot has conflict and conflict is a result of world building. If it's resources, if it's politics, if it's a conflict of ideologies or morals or cultures, that's all from the world building. And character is also world building because our characters are a product of their origins and they're a product of the societies they grew up in. They develop skills that they are told are useful or that they need to survive within the world. And that is all world building. So don't think that the ingredients for a short story like plot and character are not world building. They are made of world building. They serve the world building. They are stunning ways to do world building exposition and showcase your world building in a way that makes people intrigued and makes them ask more questions about your world. So writing a short story is a perfect vehicle because you use character and you use plot to showcase world building and create something entertaining that, that speaks about your genre and your motivation and your conflicts and all those other great juicy things you have in the world. So I would say focus on those things and you will not abandon your short story because you're doing what you love. You're focusing on the world building element because that is the key thing for a second world fantasy or a second world fiction of any kind. Perfect. That's what I would say. I think that was brilliant. Yep, I agree <laughs> completely.